up from our channel to Tower Cam. Freeway's moving right along there, Southwest Freeway. So, welcome back to the show. If you want to incorporate some natural skincare products into your beauty routine, skip the chemicals and listen up. Absolutely. We've got a list of ingredients you already have in your pantry to make all this stuff and make sure to take notes. Beauty and lifestyle blogger Meg Owen is here with all the details. Hey, Meg. Hi. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for, for having here. me. This is super interesting. So, you have a beauty and lifestyle blog yep. and you're a makeup obsessed mom makeup obsessed <laughs> beauty obsessed in fact all of these diys that we're going to be doing today are featured on my website in case people want to go get them for themselves and That's tried awesome. and true which yes, i think is really I've great develop these myself and because you're a mom is that one of the reason why you try to steer away from the chemicals and do all um, natural it's it's more or less that it's just easy it's stuff that i have in my pantry i don't have to go out and shop for something and so it's just right there and I could do it and I know that it works because it's great ingredients. Okay. Well, let's jump right in. The first thing you have is an all natural hot oil hair treatment. Okay, so we all know that like hot oil treatments were like the thing back in the day and I decided when I was just had a baby my hair was falling out it was disgusting i decided to make my own hot oil treatment and i used coconut oil mm, i love coconut oil um, olive oil oh which... look at your face look at this is your your post that oh, yeah. we're using oh my gosh this is such an old blog post and a little bit of honey and the reason why i put these three ingredients in is that Coconut oil is extremely moisturizing, so is olive oil, and honey has an antimicrobial properties and helps keep hair shiny. Okay. And then what I do is I stick this ramekin in the microwave in 10 second increments until it gets warm. I put it all over my hair, and then I And then you put tap this it on. and leave it on. Leave For it on. How long? As long as you want. You can okay. even sleep in it, a couple hours. It's totally fine. And, All right. and then wash it out. Wash it out with shampoo and conditioner and style like normal. Okay. Or leave it in, go to work, scare your coworkers. <laughs> yeah, Let's that too. Let's move on to an oatmeal <laughs> sugar scrub. Coarse hair too. This is the sugar scrub? Yes. Okay, so oatmeal is a really calming um, ingredient that's put in a lot of skincare, especially with people with eczema. So what I've done is I've taken some oatmeal that I've ground up in like a little blender. I'm going to put it in my mason jar. I've got um, some regular granulated sugar, which is an, a gentle exfoliant oh. that goes in there. And then um, some more coconut, coconut oil. oil. Oh, gotta use that. Yeah, we power through that at our house. Oh my gosh. And I have liquid coconut oil there. And then just a little bit of honey to kind of give it a little bit of something something. You could also put essential oils in this. Okay. You could um, customize this and make it smell however you want. And you basically just like stir this up and seal it tight with, with this mason jar and this will keep good for a couple weeks and you could use it in the shower as a scrub, scrub your hands. It's great for exfoliation. Okay. Love that, Good for, right before you self tan as right well. Right before you self tan. Okay, so this is our at home toner. Yes, yeah, so if anybody experiences hyperpigmentation, let's say you've got some spots on your face after getting a breakout, um, what I like to do is use a little bit of lemon juice and witch hazel and this I might need some help Absolutely. with. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so I use mostly Witch hazel. Oh, of course, I didn't take the cap off. I know. It. That's okay. But you know what? The witch hazel is good for cleansing, and the lemon juice is what you say is helping with the brown spots. With the brightening. So you okay. just use a tiny bit of lemon juice. You, you do it in small pat batches because you okay. don't want that lemon juice to go bad. Use it on a cotton pad. And you can even keep it in the fridge to keep your, you know, make it feel even great on and, a hot day. And Meg, we're going to leave it there. We'll post the rest online so that people at, at home can follow along. Yes, That's awesome. Sir. Beautiful naturally. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, folks, for 40 years, Gallery Furniture has been helping furnish people's homes, giving back to the community in a big way. But did you know that most of what they sell is actually made in America? We'll have their story next.